After a wonderful trip around Central Europe visiting family, it's time for me to head home. Today, I'm flying my first of three legs back to the States, starting off today on a Lufthansa A320 to Frankfurt. As usual, I'm here at Václav Havel Airport's Terminal 2, the terminal meant for Schengen and intra-European flights. After checking in and dropping off my bags at these new self-service kiosks, I had some time to kill, so I went to probably the best part of the airport, the plane spotting deck. The plane spotting deck is situated between terminals 1 and 2. Both non-ticketed and ticketed passengers have access to this wonderful little spot. After making it through security, I'm heading to gate C9. This gate is commonly used by Lufthansa, but has a disadvantage of being at the far end of terminal 2. My aircraft this afternoon is Delta Alpha India Uniform Kilo, a 7-year-old A320-200 delivered new to Lufthansa in January of 2015. After being stored during the pandemic, the aircraft came back into service in 2021. The cabin on board this A320 is the standard for Lufthansa's older short to medium haul aircrafts, featuring a fairly comfortable seat design and amazing legroom. Despite this aircraft being less than 10 years old, none of these seats in either business or economy class feature power outlets or USB ports. Here is our takeoff from runway 24 at Prague. As this Lufthansa flight is under 3 hours, there is no substantial in-flight or duty-free service besides this chocolate and a bottle of water. Here's our descent and landing into runway 25 left at Frankfurt. I'd rank this flight an overall 10 out of 10. For the duration of the flight, you get a great seat and refreshments, something that most full-service European airlines almost never offer on routes shorter than 2 to 3 hours. The price of a round-trip ticket on this route is 180 to 220 US dollars, which is quite pricey for a 500 kilometer flight in Europe. The high price is justified, as most people who fly the suit, such as I, are passengers connecting through Frankfurt on other tickets, not making it a terminus. Most people who travel between Prague and Frankfurt do so on the train or bus, as it's much cheaper. Anyways, that's all from me. Until next time, see ya.